What is it, gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world? Mega Crasher is here, and I just woke up. Okay, I had major bedhead, man. I had to splash some cold water all over myself to wake me up because you guys have been blowing up my fucking Android while I was sleeping. I mean, you guys were tweeting at me. You guys were fucking messaging me on Facebook saying, Mega Crasher, you need to do a video on the fucking demo. It's been data mine. I'm like, oh my god, are you serious with me right now? I mean, I know that in the, not the last video I did, but in the video before that, I did a video reacting to Alolan Doug Trio. And I still can't believe that design right there, man. Holy shit. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the game has in fact been data mined. So this video is going to be containing some major, major spoilers. So if you guys do not want to have any spoilers revealed, then please click away from the video right now. But for those of you guys that are going to be staying for the bumpy ride, let's get the fuck into this. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are about to see part one of the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo data mine. So it's like I said at the beginning of this video, if you do not want to have any of these spoilers revealed to you, turn away now. And that is the last time I am going to be warning you guys. With that being said, let's go ahead and let's see the fucking spoilers. Oh shit, here we go, man. Woo! Man, I'm excited. Eh? Yeah. So as I said... Oh, wait a second! Okay, so what we got going on here, it seems like we have ourselves the base stats of a few Pokemon here. I mean, we have Jangmo'o, we got Hakamo'o, got Rockruff, Young Goose, and Pikipak here. Okay. So, Jangmo'o and Hakamo'o, their highest stats appear to be their defense. Interesting. And Rockruff with the attack and the speed, very nice. Uh, Young Goose with, uh, with quite the amount of attack and not so much speed and <laughs> its defense stats as well as its special attack is at all at 30. And Pick a Peck, oh my god, its attack is at base 75 and speed is at 65. That's nuts. Oh my god. Ah, right, 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 right. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Oh, here we go. <gasps> what?! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Holy fucking shit, dude! Oh my god! Ash Greninja is a fucking beast! <laughs> Holy shit! It's true! His stats are fucking buffed! Like, you take- you take- you, Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, you, t you take a look, you take a look at regular Greninja, like you take a look it's at its regular stats, they're really good and it's frail, but they're really fucking good and it's fast as hell, but Ash Greninja, oh my god, like how, how, how big of a buff is this, like it's attack got buffed up by 50, special attack by 50, and speed by 10, it had a complete and total base stat total of 110 stat increase oh my god that 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 supersedes mega evolution holy shit oh my fucking god oh my fucking god oh my god i can't fucking believe this oh my god okay 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 so we, we got ourselves some new moves here so psychic terrain Pokemon on the ground won't be hit by priority moves for five turns. It boosts the power of psychic type moves. What the hell is going on here with all these priority nerfs? It's it's as if it's as if Game Freak really regrets giving Prankster and Gale Wings Brave Bird to Talonflame and all that crap. Like and now and now it's like they're they're having abilities that nerf the shit out of priority moves. And now there's moves that nerf the shit out of priority moves. Like, what the fuck is this? Holy shit, man! Oh my fucking god! Throw Chop. Okay. The Pokemon can't use uh, any move that produces sound for two turns. That sounds nasty! Throw Chop! Oh my god! Holy shit, man! 
You've got to be kidding me right now. Okay. Like, I knew we were going to be getting some new moves, or at least that, that's what I was thinking. Okay, Aurora Veil. It has the power of special and physical attacks for five turns. Bro. Dude, that's like fucking built-in life screen and reflect for one turn. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. <laughs> oh shit. This is crazy. Laser focus. Laser focus. The move on the turn after the Pokemon uses laser focus always results in a critical hit. Hey, bye-bye defensive setup! <laughs> yes! Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, okay, so, okay, Gigavolt, or Gigavolt Havoc is a physical electric move and it always hits and it's got one power point. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, let's keep going then. Let's keep going. Oh, man. Item sprites, okay. Alright. Interesting. Okay, so we got Mystery Zone, uh, Mystery Zone, not Mystery Dome, what the fuck that place is. We got Mystery Zone, Faraway Place, uh, Haoli City, Shopping District, Marina, Ten Carat Hill, and the Kalos region. Okay. Now, hang on a sec. Now, I'm just kind of wondering, like, the Kalos region, like, they have that highlighted right there. Like, is the Kalos region actually going to be in Sun and Moon? Because if you, if you remember... There's Zygarde, okay? Zygarde is going to be in Sun and Moon, so... I, 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 and I'm kind of thinking, like, that Pokemon is Kalos native, so I wonder if there's going to be some sort of connection, like, if we're actually going to be taking a trip back to Kalos. Oh my god. That is interesting. Alright. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Here we go, here we go. Uh, so we got four new ribbons... Ability Stakeout doubles the damage dealt onto the target's replacement if the target switches out. Battle Bond. Defeating an opposing Pokemon strengthens the b Pokemon's bond with its trainer. Man, I can't fucking read this morning. I'm so excited. And it becomes Ash Greninja. Water Shuriken gets more powerful. 186 trainer classes, 720 moves, no new types. Okay. <sighs> Shit, man. Whoa! Oh, what? Oh my god! Shiny Zygarde complete forming. It looks like you got the shiny fucking starters right there, man. Oh my god! Yo! Oh my fucking god, guys. And this is only part one of the, of the Deno Demo Data Mine! So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for part one number two all right ladies and gentlemen are you guys ready for part two of the pokemon sun and moon demo data mine now i didn't say this in the first part but all of these videos will be in the description box down below go check out these videos for yourself slam the fuck out of the like button and subscribe to kephotix right here because this right here was very epic and very nice of them to put up for us to see so with that being said let's get to part two Woo! oh my fucking god i'm excited here we go oh shit here we go here we go oh my fuck here we go here we go here we go come on come on come on come on okay 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 800 pokemon ash pikachu exists Yo! So, w wait a second, wait a second, Ash Pikachu exists, so does that mean that the Bond Phenomenon isn't limited to Ash Greninja only? And if so, what are the stats of Ash Pikachu? Is it going to be an aesthetic change, or is it going to be a major fucking change like Ash Greninja? Oh my god. Okay, few sprites were also not included in the demo. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. <sighs> oh man. Here we go, man. Oh! oh! Shit, here we go, baby! Here we fucking go! Yep, yep, we have the Alolan Pokemon that have already been revealed to us, and I I still can't believe fucking how Muck looks. Holy shit. 
I can't wait to use Alolan Muck, but I, I'm using the Boom Boom Tree first, man, because that's my Alolan Pokemon. That's mine, man! Woo! Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we fucking go, man. I'm excited for this. Whoa! What? Oh, my fucking God! Alolan Geotude? Alolan Graveler? Alolan Golem? What the hell is that thing on his back? It looks like some sort of fucking spark plug! And is that a low in Persian right there? What the fuck is this? It looks like a fucking blueberry. Like a, 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 a kitty blueberry or something. Oh my fucking god. And there's a low in Diglett with the fucking little sprig of hair, man. Oh my god. And we have ourselves Ash Pikachu here with different hats that it's wearing. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. This is crazy. Are the starters re Come on. Make it real. Oh, it's true! It's true! Oh my fucking god, it's true! It's true! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Yes! I can't believe this! Oh my fucking god, it's true! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> they... I'm, I'm gonna die a happy man! I'm gonna die a fucking happy man! <laughs> Holy shit, man! I can't believe this! I can honestly say I cannot believe this! What the fuck, man? This is crazy! They all look so amazing! Espe especially the water starter. I don't even know what the fuck her name is, but I don't even care! I don't even care, man! This makes Popwheel the greatest fucking water type starter in history! Oh my god! Well, what, what, one of the greatest water type starters in history. I don't want to offend any uh, fans of, you know, Empoleon, of Greninja, because Greninja's fucking lit, man. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I can't believe these are fucking true. Tons more. Whoa! Hold the fucking phone! Who the hell is that thing? What Pokemon is this? And it's a toucan! So pick a peck involves into a fucking toucan? Yo! Oh my fucking god! Holy shit! Oh my god, and I just gotta- What the hell is this thing? It's like- What, what is it? Like, I- I don't know! Like, I, I- It looks like it evolves from Crab Brawler, but what the fuck kind of species is this? Like, it- it has, like, fur and shit all over it, like, like, kind of, like, resembling an abominable snowman or yeti. Oh my god. Yo, hold the phone! Holy shit. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so we have ourselves a little mushroom evolving into, like, a, a, fuck, a creature with a huge mushroom hat on its head. And that Pokemon that was revealed in the fucking TCG yesterday. It actually is a thing, and it evolves into something that's like, what the hell kind of thing is this? And what the hell kind of Pokemon is that? Is like, are these Pokemon or Ultra Beasts? Like, I don't even know. They kind of have the look of an Ultra Beast, if you want to have my exact honest opinion, man. Jesus Christ. And there's fucking more. Okay, here we go. Holy fucking shit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What the hell kind of Pokemon is this? It looks like a fucking anchor, but what what kind of Pokemon is this? Okay, that's interesting here. And we got Wimp- Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Wimpod goes from being a Wimp to being, like, a Pokemon that- I- That thing had better be- That better not have the Wimp out of building. I mean, it doesn't look like a Wimpy Pokemon. In fact, it looks like when it evolves from Wimpod, it's like- It's like- you wanna try calling me a wimp again? I'll rip your fucking face off! Oh my fucking god, this is crazy! I can't believe this! And you, and you had all the other... What? Whoa! Oh shit! There's all the other tapus! All the other fucking island totem things! Like, what the hell is this? This is crazy! Oh my fucking god! Okay, so we know Tapu Koko is electric and fairy. Now, hold on a sec. I, I gotta fix my fucking chair. What the hell is this? Like, this is just crazy right now, man. Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy right now. Okay, okay. So, we have Tapu Koko, who is electric and fairy. 
and all the other uh, Tapus, I'm willing to bet they're going to be a partial fairy typing, but the question is, what is their primary type going to be? I believe that this one might actually be a ghost fairy. That's what I'm thinking. Because it kind of ha it has a purplish look to it. Like, its color is purple. So, I'm willing to bet that it might have a partial ghost typing. This right here kind of looks like a maybe a psychic fairy. I don't know. I mean, it has the pink coloring to it. So, I I'm thinking that it might actually be part psychic. Because if you look at Tapu Coco right here, it's yellow and it's part electric. Now, as for this thing right here, oh my god, I have absolutely no idea what sort of typing this thing has. Maybe flying, I don't even know. But what the fuck, this is so cool. Holy shit, man. What? Yo, pre-evolutions to legendaries. Does that mean they can breed? Can legendaries fucking breed for the first time in history? Holy shit. What the hell? What do you call these things? They're like... They're... Oh my fucking god. This is crazy. This is honestly fucking crazy right now, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. Beasts. Oh my god. So we have more fucking ultra beasts to be revealed. Like, what the hell do you call this thing? It looks like a fucking fan or something. Like, it has like a blade on its chest that's like spin around like a fan? And what the hell do you call this thing? It looks like so... Uh, I don't even know what the hell to call it. It's like a tent with fucking arms or something. And this thing right here... Holy shit, looks like something you'd see out of the movies. And this right here... What the hell do you even call this thing? It's like a bundle of cables. And it has like spark plugs for like limbs or some shit like that. And we already know about this one. And that thing looks fucking terrifying. Holy shit, that thing's got a big ass mouth. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. Oh, okay, okay, so we have ourselves the, uh, Pokeball Magirna. I mean, is that gonna be a shiny? Like, I don't know. Oh, look, it's Mark Shadow. Whoa! Mark Shadow! But what? Why does it look like that? It looks so small! <laughs> it looks so small and adorable like a baby! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh, shit! Oh, my fucking god. I can't believe this. I honestly can't even believe this, man. Holy shit. Yeah, that is fucking pretty cool. Holy shit! Oh my fucking god. I can't believe... I can't believe it, man. The starters are actually fucking true! They're true! And like, you see in all these other Pokemon that were revealed and like, had evolutions. And w something that boggles my mind more than anything are pre-evolutions to legendaries? What?! What the hell is... Like, what's going on here? What the hell's going on? I don't even know, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe this. And we're only just finished part two, man. There's yet another part to this Pokemon Sun and Moon data mine. Jesus Christ, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are you guys ready for the Pokemon Sun and Moon data mine part three? I just, I don't know if I can handle anything else at this point, man. I feel like I was stuffed like a Thanksgiving turkey when it comes to eating, man. I don't think I can handle any more bites, man. Whoa! But fucking hell. We got to keep going with this. Holy shit, man. Here we go. Oh, my God. This is exciting, man. What are we going to find here? Like, what else are we going to find out here? Oh, my God. Shine sprites ahead, here we go! Oh my fucking god. Okay, whoa! Whoa, hold the phone, man! Oh my god, those shiny sprites look fucking decent. Oh my god. Like, you take a look at Grimer, like Alolan Grimer, it actually is the same color as its regular form, regular Grimer. And it looks like with Alolan Muck, I mean, like, I can't really tell if anything's really changed. I mean, like, it's... It still has those crazy neon colors that are, like, circulating through its body like oil. And you got the Boom Boom Tree. Now it becomes the Golden Boom Boom Tree, man. Oh, my God. And, like, you got Geodude, Gra Graveler, and Golem all looking sick as hell. Now, the thing of it is, is what type is 
are these Alolan rocks, like Alolan Geodude, Alolan Graveler, and Alolan Golem. Like, what typings are these Pokemon going to have? Same with Alolan Diglett and Alolan Dugtrio. Holy shit, man. This is exciting. Oh my god. This looks so cool. Yo, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Shiny Zygarde's, and we also have the shiny starters, man, which all looks so amazing. Oh my god. Like, I just, like, oh my god. Like, this Pokemon, the final evolution of Rowlet, might be one of the coolest Pokemon in the history of Pokemon. Oh my god, like, this is so crazy. This is so amazing, and they're shiny. They're fucking shinies, man. This is crazy. Okay, here we go, baby. Here we go. So we have ourselves Oricorio's shinies. We have ourselves the shiny, cute little fairy bug Pokemon. We also have ourselves a shiny Toucan line. We got the, ourselves the very, very interesting looking shiny bugs. We have ourselves what looks to be a spark plug. You got ourselves a battery, which kind of looks like a bus. And you got a fucking railroad gun. And you got the Donald Trump. You got Donald Trump dyeing his hair purple. And then you also have... You also have Crab Brawler and its evolution. I presume it's going to be its evolution as Shinies. And are you kidding me? You got, you got Lycanroc at... <laughs> oh my god. They look amazing as Shinies. Holy shit. Especially the Midnight form because it's a really, really dark blue. Right? It's a really dark blue, which is the same color as the Night Sky or similar to that effect. This thing is going to be so amazing. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. And we got more, baby! We got more! Here we go! So we have ourselves more shiny Pokemon. And I can't, I honestly can't even tell if these are sh if these are Pokemon or Ultra Beasts. I mean, they have the Ultra Beast look. But considering that they weren't on the same page as the Ultra Beast shown previously, we can only assume that these are in fact going to be Pokemon. Because as far as we know, Ultra Beasts also don't have evolutions, and these two are appear to be related to each other, so yeah. And look, you have ourselves <laughs> Oh my god, this is so amazing. And Selena actually I I can't believe I actually overlooked this, but Selena actually has a fucking evolution. The question is though, what are stats gonna be? What's its name gonna be? What's its typing gonna be? Oh my god, this is so crazy. This is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> And we got more shinies. Hello. Here we go, baby. Woo! Yes. Oh, my God. Like, all of these look so amazing. Especially this Pokemon. It looks like a fucking anchor. Like, I still don't even understand what the hell kind of Pokemon is this. And the thing of it is, I'm going to make a bold prediction right now. Considering that anchors are, well, they're made of metal. I'm willing to bet that this is going to be a steel type. But the thing of it is, is it wouldn't make any sense to have just an anchor Pokemon without some sort of lore behind it. So I'm willing to bet that this Pokemon is actually going to be part ghost type because what if this was an anchor that was possessed by the spirit of Blackbeard? Can you imagine something like that, man? And speaking of black, oh my god. The Sandcastle Pokemon are now black sand? <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. And they really blinged out the Snoop Dogg Dragon with shiny gold. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Holy shit, and I can't believe it. Kamo'o and friends are looking amazing. Holy shit. This is so cool! Oh my god! And, wow! Shiny Sil Valley with like different fucking forms. Oh my god. And the shiny Tapus again, baby! Woo! Oh my god, and they're all black too. This is so cool. Oh my god. And it really shows their true colors too in the shiny form because you got Tapu Koko who has that orangey color and you have this Tapu that is still has that uh, ha has that pinkish purplish color and you got this one that has a yellow color and you got this one that's now kind of like a blue color. So I'm willing to bet that Oh my god, like, this is just so cool. This is just so fucking amazing. Like, I don't I don't even know where I was going with that last statement there. I'm just fucking rambling on at this point because it's like, what the hell, man? Oh my god. These look fucking lit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! You got shiny Solgaleo! That's like the... 
It is so amazing! And you got shiny Lunala that is literally like a blood moon. A blood moon. Holy shit, dude. These... I hope they're not shiny lock, man. I want shiny legendaries now. This is crazy. Oh my god. And you got shiny Ultra Beast. What the fuck is this? Shiny Ultra Beast now. Are you kidding me? So, hang on a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, let me get this straight. So, these are not Pokemon. But yet, they can have shiny forms. So, something kind of doesn't add up here. I'm thinking it's like, maybe, just maybe, these are similar to Pokemon. And I wonder if you can actually capture these. Because these are shiny, okay? They wouldn't be shiny for no reason, okay? Like, they're not just something that appears in the game, you beat up, and that's it. I mean, I wouldn't think so anyways, especially given the fact that they now have shiny colors. I mean, you would have to capture them. You would have to, because killing off a shiny, let alone killing off a shiny Ultra Beast, that's a big no-no. That is a huge no-no. And you got shiny Magearna, again. And shiny Marshadow? I don't really notice too much of a difference here. I actually don't even notice really any of a difference. Ah, okay. Wow. Holy shit. I can't believe it. I can honestly say, man, like this... Like, Pokemon Sun and Moon, man. Like, we, we now know a shit ton more information about it. I mean, when it comes to the Pokemon, when it comes... Oh my god. Oh my god. This is just so amazing, guys. Like, I can't believe this. I can honestly say I cannot believe this. Like, they did such a good job with designing the Pokemon in this generation here. Like, this generation, design-wise, may in fact be the best generation there ever has been. Like, the starters, they fucking nailed it on point. I mean... Lynn's final evolution is a fucking wrestler, a tiger wrestler, and you know me, I'm a WWE boy, so that, that definitely tickles my fancy, and you got Rowlet's final evolution, which is just, it's so amazing, it's so fucking amazing, and if it actually is depicted like it was in the, in the drawings, in the leaks, where it actually shoots arrows, good god, good god, man, I can't believe this, and then you got Poplio's final stage evolution, which, oh my god, like, I just, I'm just so overcome with beauty. I'm so overwhelmed, man. I can't fucking believe this. I can honestly say, man, this is absolutely crazy. Holy shit, man. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say for right now. So if you guys enjoyed this three-part video, make sure you fire off a like. And like I said previously, I will leave a link in the description box down below to these videos. Go right now to these videos, fire the shit out of the like buttons, and subscribe to this person and, because he fucking deserves it, man. Holy shit. Oh my god, this is just, this is, this is like Christmas. This is like Christmas, man. I can't even believe this. Like, Christmas came early for Mega Crasher. Holy shit, man. And I'm sure it came early for a lot of other people who are fans of Pokemon like me. So like I said, if you guys enjoyed this three-part video, make sure you fire off a like. Let's see if we can aim for a fucking hype-like goal of 35 likes. And if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share, share, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crash in the community for the best. And I mean, my God, the best Pokemon Sun and Moon news hype that there is today on YouTube. And just overall the best hype and entertainment that you can find right now, right here, when it comes to Pokemon content. Because you already know the deal by now, my friends. When we're community tightly packed, tight is one, you know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined, baby. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.